this exercise is called the crying babies. Um, this exercise is to help with scapular and rotator cuff stability and strength. So we're using the hoist or pulley system once again. Um, at this with this exercise, we're working on muscle strength as well as endurance because it's a series of three different movements with the arm. So we're using the pulley system. Just keep in mind that they might not feel a ton with the first repetition or the first exercise, but as they get more fatigued, they should um, get some uh, soreness or weakness from there. So keep that weight kind of low to start. So now the patient first start facing um, the pulley system, and the pulley system should be about chest to shoulder height. So I'm going to grab both handles. I'm going to step out just a bit so his arms are going to stay nice and straight. And I prefer a stagger stance just for some balance and stability so they're not um, compensating with some uh, po poor postural movements where they're arching their back or things like that. Okay? So again, this is your scapular and shoulder strength. So keep the shoulder blades sitting down and back and squeeze back just a bit. Keeping the elbows and hands about shoulder height, he's going to row back and then forward. So he's going to do this for a set of five, maybe ten if they can tolerate it. On the tenth one, he's going to pull back and hold that position there. And now he's going to go into external rotation with both hands and back down. Slow controlled motion, making sure that wrist doesn't flex too much or extend too much. On the 10th one, he's going to hold it there. And then one arm's going to come up at a time, keeping the other arm nice and stable. With that right arm first, and then after your 5 or 10 repetitions, depending on what you um, suggested, we'll do the opposite side. And that's your crying babies.